Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid. It is a water soluble vitamin. Synonyms are filtrate factor, then chick anti dermatitis factor, chick anti dermatitis factor. This pantothenic acid consists of a beta alanine in peptide linkage. It consists of a beta alanine in peptide linkage with a dihydroxy dimethyl dihydroxy dimethyl butyric acid. It contains a beta alanine in the peptide linkage with the dihydroxy dihydroxy dimethyl butyric acid. This dihydroxy dimethyl butyric acid is called as pantoic acid. So pantoic acid and beta alanine it forms pantothenic acid pantothenic acid the free acid is soluble in water and is hydrolyzed by acids or alkalis it is thermolabile and destroyed by heat it is represented as C9H17NO5 this is pantothenic acid Next, we will see biological active forms. Its active form is coenzyme A. Active form is coenzyme A. In tissues, this vitamin is present almost entirely in the form of coenzyme A, also known as coacetylase. Coacetylase, then it is largely bound to proteins or apoenzymes. Then it is released from its combination by certain proteolytic enzymes, then certain phosphatases and a liver enzyme system. You will see the structure of coenzyme A. Coenzyme A is the, a is the active form of vitamin B5. Structure of coenzyme A. This pantoic acid, then combines with the beta alanine. It forms, this forms pantothenic acid, pantothenic acid. This pantothenic acid then combines with beta mercaptoethanolamine, beta mercaptoethanolamine. This form, this is also called as thioethanolamine. This forms, this together forms pantithene. Pantithene. Then this pantoic acid with phosphodiester bond. Phosphodiester bond. It forms, it links with D ribose 3-phosphate. D ribose 3-phosphate. Then adenine, then adenine, it forms adenosine 3 phosphate. Adenosine 3 phosphate. This is the structure of coenzyme A. In this, pantothenic acid is joined to adenosine 3 phosphate by a pyrophosphate bridge. This pantothenic acid is linked to adenosine 3 phosphate by pyrophosphate bridge this is the pyrophosphate bridge then on the other hand it is joined to beta beta mercaptoethanolamine by a peptide linkage this beta mercaptoethanolamine is obtained from amino acid cysteine the terminal sh group sh group of this beta mercaptoethanolamine terminal sh group or thiol group this is the reactive site of the coenzyme molecule Terminal SH group is the reactive site of co this coenzyme A. This coenzyme A can be represented as CoASH. It can be represented as CoASH. Naturally occurring forms of the coenzyme include reduce the SH form, then oxidize the SS form, then combination of SH group with the various metabolites. For example, acetate with acetate it forms acetyl-CoA. 
then with the succinate it forms succinyl coa these are the naturally occurring forms reduce the sh form oxidize the ss form then combination with the acetate form acetyl coa with the succinate form succinyl coa next we will see this biosynthesis and metabolism this first one is biosynthesis of pantothenic acid pantothenic acid first step is in many microorganisms including yeast pantothenic acid is synthesized by direct coupling of beta alanine and pantoic acid beta alanine pantoic acid beta alanine is formed from decarboxylation of aspartic acid it is from decarboxylation of aspartic acid then pantoic acid from alpha keto isovalerate valerate alpha keto isovalerate then next step is human tissues cannot synthesize pantothenic acid so it has to be obtained from the diet in addition to the dietary source intestinal bacteria can synthesize fair amount of pantothenic acid so sources in humans are from dietary source dietary source and from intestinal bacterial flora synthesis this is the synthesis of pantothenic acid next one is we will see the synthesis of coenzyme a synthesis of coenzyme a human tissues plants and bacteria can synthesize coenzyme a pantothenic first step is pantothenic acid it forms first forms 4 phosphor pantothenic acid 4 phosphor well right here 4 phosphor pantothenic acid by the enzyme kinase here one atp adp atp adp mg 2 plus this four phosphor pantothenic acid is converted to four phosphor pantothenyl cysteine four phosphor pantothenyl cysteine So the enzyme is cysteinyl transferase cysteinyl transferase here ctp or atp one molecular cysteine is added water is released then this 4 phosphor pantothenyl cysteine is converted to 4 phosphor pantothene Four phosphor pantothene. Here the enzyme is decarboxylase. Decarboxylase. Carbon dioxide is released. Then this four phosphor pantothene is converted to D phosphor CoA. D phosphor CoA by the enzyme adenyl. transferase adenyl transferase then here one atp ppi is released then d phosphor coa is converted to coenzyme a here one atp adp mg++ enzyme kinase so this is the steps in the synthesis of coenzyme a 
This pantothenic acid is first converted to 4 phosphor pantothenic acid by a kinase enzyme. ATP is utilized, utilized in this step. 4 phosphor pantothenic acid is converted to 4 phosphor pantothenyl cysteine by the enzyme cysteinyl transferase. One molecule of cysteine is transferred to this 4 phosphor pantothenic acid to form 4 phosphor pantothenic pantothenyl cysteine. Water molecules released. Then by the enzyme decarboxylate, one molecule of carbon dioxide is released. It forms 4 phosphor pantothene. By the enzyme adenyl transferase, it is converted into D phosphor CoA and at last it becomes coenzyme A by the enzyme kinase. Then next we will see the blood level. The concentration of pantothenic acid in whole blood. Pantothenic acid in whole blood is about 15 to 45 mu gram per 100 ml. It is present in all tissues in small amounts. Highest concentration is in liver. In liver, it is about 40 mu gram per gram. Then in kidneys, it is about 30 mu gram. This is the blood level of pantothenic acid. Next, we will see the excretion. Coming to excretion, under urinary dietary conditions, about 2.5 to 5 mg are excreted daily in the urine. Then in sweat, it is excreted 3 to 4 mu gram per 100 ml in sweat. In, it is also secreted in milk that is about 200 to 300 mu gram. 300 mu gram per 100 ml. Then next we will see the food sources. It is widely distributed in plants, animal tissues and food materials. Excellent food sources include kidney, liver, egg yolk and yeast, then cereals and legumes. Fair sources are skimmed milk, chicken, certain fishes, potatoes and molasses. Richest known source of pantothenic acid is royal jelly. Royal jelly. This royal jelly is also rich in biotin and the spiridoxin. This is the richest source of vitamin B5. Next we will see metabolic role. Metabolic role of vitamin B5. As a constituent of coenzyme A, pantothenic acid is essential for several fundamental metabolic reactions. So these reactions are first one formation of active acetate. Active acetate, uh, uh, otherwise known as acetyl CoA. So, formation of acetyl CoA. Pantothenic acid readily combines with acetate. It forms acetyl CoA, which is, is, which, is a, which is metabolically active. Acetyl CoA is chemically CH3 CS double bond O COA. This, this sulfur bond. The sulfur bond in acetyl CoA is the high energy bond. It's the high energy bond. It is similar to that of high energy phosphate bond of ATP. Then, in the form of active acetate, it participates in a number of important metabolic reactions. For example, acetyl choline formation, acetyl choline formation, then for acetylation reactions, acetylation reaction, synthesis of cholesterol. Then uh, the synthesis of ketone bodies. For, for all these metabolic reactions, this active acetate is participate, participating. The next reaction is formation of active succinate or succinyl CoA. Active succinyl, active succinate or succinyl CoA. It is a coenzyme derivative and it is a product of oxidative decarboxylation of alpha-keto-glutarate. 
product of oxidative decarboxylation of alpha keto glutarate in TCA cycle. Succinyl CoA is involved in certain important metabolic reactions. For example, in heme synthesis. In heme synthesis, active succinate and glycine combine to form delta amino levulinic acid. This active succinate or succinyl CoA combined to form delta amino levulinic acid. This is the first step in pathway of heme synthesis. Then in anemia, if uh, this anemia may occur in pantothenic acid deficiency due to deficiency in the formation of succinyl CoA. Next one is it is involved in the degradation of ketone bodies by extra hepatic tissue. Next one is role in lipid metabolism. In lipid metabolism, first one is oxidation of fatty acid or beta oxidation. Beta oxidation of fatty acid. First step in the oxidation of fatty acid is catalyzed by thiokinase enzyme. Thiokinase. It involves the activation of fatty acid by formation of CoA derivatives. That is the role in fatty, fatty acid oxidation. Next one is uh, fatty acid synthesis. Biosynthesis of fatty acid. Pantothenic acid is a constant of a compound called as acyl carrier protein. Acyl carrier protein. It is and it's also a constant of multi-enzyme complex in mammals, which is use, used in the extra mitochondrial de novo fatty acid synthesis. That is the role in lipid metabolism. Next one is role in adenocortical function. Adrenocortical function. Pantothenic acid is involved in adenocortical activity. It is essential for the formation of adenocortical hormones from active acetate that is acetyl CoA and cholesterol. It is essential for the formation of adenocortical hormones from active acetyl CoA and cholesterol. Pantothenic acid deficient animals have reduced levels of this adrenal cholesterol. Next role is activation of some amino acids. Activation of some amino acid. S some branch chain amino acids such as valine, leucine. They need this coenzyme A for the activation. Next one, this is the metabolic roles. Next we will see the deficiency manifestations. Deficiency manifestations. No deficiency diseases are recognized in man due to its widespread in this uh, foodstuffs and they can be synthesized by the intestinal bacterial flora. In experimental animals, there will be loss of hair, dermatitis, gastritis, enteritis, fatty liver can occur. Undergoddess of vitamin B5 are pantoil taurin. Pantoil taurin and methyl pantothenate. These are the undergoddess of vitamin B5. Daily requirement is in adult, it is about 5 to 12 mg per 2500 calories. In infants, it is about 1 to 2 mg. Children, it is 4 to 5 mg. Then this requirement increases in presence of severe stress, for example, acute illness, then burns, severe injury. Then in oral administration of broad spectrum antibiotics, then in pregnancy and lactation and for growing children. So this is about vitamin B5. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.